A double move because what happens here, he makes that slant move in, and Rasul Douglas knew that it was the blitz, so he said, okay, if we're blitzing. Just watch the little stutter, he just goes right by him. Look at the separation, and Russell Wilson may be the best. On Diggs is starting to show up now. Just a quick little move inside. This is the second straight time that we've seen a Pittsburgh Steelers cornerback go down, and I tell you what runner this guy is, but you're gonna see how he just totally turns around Sean Murphy and any type of a running play pass defense still working on it and Hilton just crosses his face so easily thing that you'll see throughout the course of the night is Tredavious White and a little bit like they used to do with Richard Sherman in Seattle he was trying to go left and came back right you see Marcus Peters again trying to keep an eye on the quarterback to try and steal one gets caught up on the feet got with the catch let's go back to the pick well, you'd think for a second here that Marcus May was the receiver and DK Metcalf was the defender I mean, that's a, just a great play by the safe and pressure to the point where now he just stumbles and when you're trying to chase Hamlin you don't get your hands on him you realize Did he get pushed what happened here let's take a look Love the play call. There's Kevon Seymour. He's one of the guys that's been forced into the lineup playing heavy outside leverage. There's nobody in the middle of the field to help out. And he was going to go to the corner here because the split was so tight. He's inside. Generally, when you get that, you're going to the corner. But that time they were yard catch. Well, this is actually a good throw by Kirk Cousins because he sees Antoine Winfield. Snatches one from Brandon Cooks of Houston for an interception Woo! this time and you see him right there and he's going to get this little quick inside outside release gets Richard Sherman to flip his hips Alex Smith does a great job and guess what you're just going to throw the back shoulder you know you have one-on-one -on -one into the boundary right here for Adams he just presses up the field Aaron Rodgers throws it behind over Warrior, and then it's watch the patience right here total patience mm. And is a corner you're left there like what in the world is he do I respect as one of the best slot cornerbacks knew that this guy is one of the very best that he faces missed field goal and, and it was really the connection between Taysom Hill and Michael Thomas so we'll see if this starts to become a little bit more of they really played it quite well and Sidney Jones he's gonna be at the top of your screen at about the 30 yard line he's in great position but that just Tannehill saying look I trust A.J. Brown to win that battle. I'm just going to throw it up and expect that he's going to win like the elite receiver that he is. Very self-critical, so you know he's a little motivated today. Uh, you, you love the accountability. Now, now he's drawn some tough duty the last couple of weeks. You talk about D.K. Metcalf and Devontae Adams. Tremendous touch. This is what Herbert watched when he watched him work out. How do you throw that before he's even out? And being able to go through his progressions and reads. Aguilar with an out and up, and he's between the corner and the safety. And the ball's delivered right on time. Even Higgins, an opportunity to make a play for your team. And he's got to reach out with his hands to catch. When he let it come into your body. From where he lines up. So you see that, that there's a lot of field then. You collapse the. Well, I sure applied here by Chris Jones. He had to get the pass away quickly. And you see it's he's passed him, but he's running out of the pocket. Harris, who drives on it. And then it's just one-on-one. -on -one. Scotty Miller in a foot race. And Brady initially, I did play by Carlton Davis because this ball just gets away from Cousins enough. If he puts it lower and lets it catch it on his body. A part of this team, the secondary, we know about Tredavious White, but watch him looking back in at Ben Roethlisberger. They're anticipating these quicker throws that they've been getting out of Pittsburgh. Same thing, White again. Going to see Ben's eyes looking out behind him. Gets his hands up for the deflection. Then Taron Johnson with the interception. Same deal. Looking back at Ben. That move was a beauty. A quick flash fake to Montgomery in the backfield. That gets the linebackers to bite in. And then a quick slant throw to Robbins. He's guarding Tyreek Hill one-on-one. -on -one. Now that's the Beckham play right there. If he's able to lead him a little bit on a little stutter and go by Robinson. He comes back forward, able to make the catch. And D. Lamb, again, working on a slot corner. Let me tell you, that slot corner position is so difficult to play with the beautiful route by C. 30-yard well, completion. Yeah, this is what he did in college. And it, just get it up high enough and let him try to go up and make a play. Understanding that this is a blitz. I got to get in and out of my break quickly. But Butler is tough. He, he wants to play press. That's his game. And I didn't think that Chark... 
similar play in that he threw it behind him. This is one, it has to be on the money. Leave that call. I, I love the way he's looking at it in disbelief, which is appropriate for this time of year with Christmas coming up. Watching the Denver Broncos on tape, you've seen a lot of different guys playing corner, and sometimes when you haven't seen a guy on film a lot, you know, we're looking at Samuel on the ISO, he's just driving down the field in between the zone coverage, but it's really about the offensive line. I think William Jackson is sitting here, and you give that clean inside release, you pick off your help from the inside. Well, Mari does a good job working on a slot guy, and Mackenzie Alexander pushes him up the field, and like how he's king to go to the sidelines. Yeah, he hasn't played since week eight, and good jam right there. Close contact, sees the quarterback. Love for a young receiver to make. It's a bootleg. He's going to run all the way across the field. And he has to realize that as he's crossing the field, guys are closing in on him. Well, chains, if we go back several right. years, this would not have been considered a catch because he didn't finish it to the ground. But one, two, three, he reaches and extends. I don't want to take away from the great throw and great catch, but watch this. Watch a little sluggo, slant, and go. And I think Amar is in. Mm. Right there, he oh. just would have stayed on him just a little bit longer. In route running 101, the race up the field, and then more importantly, the race back to the ball. Going back, being quarterback friendly. In the NFL, gain of 15 first down. You know, I, I love stories <laughs> like this. You know, guys that just keep work too easy. Just great body control, great calmness, gets in and out of his break. And a pretty good effort here to pick up 14. Just tough catches, you know, combat catches. Looks like he... It's like he secured that football. It's going to happen at some point because he's going to play a long time. But I would argue it's going to be a long time before you see it again. After Roger Saffold left the game. Well, it's a good job of sticking with it. That's perfect. His finger this week made the grab. That ball was fitted in there pretty good. <laughs> you got Patrick Peterson, one of the best in the game still. And you have the one-on-one -on -one matchup with the slant. Daniel Jones recognizes it. And, you know, Slayton get the hands. Number 20 defense. The penalty is declined. The result of the play is the first down. That's Jeff Gladney. The first. This is where Kyler Murray wanted to go, and Isaac Yedem has him gloved all the way in. The best part about it is they plastered. They Five yards an attempt, and Lady Ray Wilson right here is going to sit on this slant route. All right, he knows the down to distance. You can see Keenan running half speed, not thinking that he's going to see that ball and get that ball. Thing in a three deep coverage. James Bradbury is just backpedaling in three deep understanding that is the weakness the big play to golden tate and then Dion lewis just talked about motion he comes over here so they could see but here's hill now watch the safety he's got to help out go ahead and help there you can't run downhill four steps on a guy like tyreek hill because by the time you get your momentum back jim he's already past you you try and turn and run. We're going to stay with it. It was just a matter of time. Teams have done everything that they can to try to eliminate him. They can't eliminate him. Choreographed it well, too. Because we always talk about how things have to happen in practice for them to happen in the game field. Well, the choreo choreography didn't just happen. When you don't run the ball, it's going to be hard. And you see Ward sitting. It's man to man coverage, and he's going to get that left hand up in there. If he was press coverage, he runs a fade. If he's off, he runs a slam. Again, the growth of Brandon Allen and a nice route by A.J. Green, the strength. Just watch the top of your screen. He gets a release, he beats him. The ball's a bit underthrown, and he just simply can't. Nine seasons. He's the winningest quarterback in NFL history through those first nine seasons. 94 wins. They showed heavy run formation. Essentially ran a one receiver route. And T.Y. Hilton, how about holding on after that hit? It's going, gosh, Keenan Allen's not running really fast. I don't feel that pressure. But man, does he use his body. Well, that's just, you know, you've got one-on-ones on both sides here. You're trying to bracket the inside receiver. Devontae, well, they've got, I mean, they're off the ball right here. Roberts is understanding. You're playing the sticks right now. And you feel that route. You feel one-on-one. It's better than you. Slant route early. Once again, you see the patience of the release. And that ball couldn't th be thrown any better. A.J. Terrell, welcome to the end. You've got to, the pump fake by Aaron Rodgers, but you got to have a short memory out there if you're a corner, right? Oru Wari, as you mentioned, has been beaten a couple times that time. Double move from Ridley, and this is where you trust your receiver. Right, you can see the out and the up, but when you are double-teamed, then you got to be careful with these chargers. I mean, the three corners have four. Lions will have to punt.
Well, a really nice job because they're running a little whip route. So they're coming back here and trying to get back outside. And watch Alexander, just the quickness. Just one-on-one -on -one matchups on the outside. This is Diggs against Nelson here. Maybe a little push off on that one. But body control by Marvin Jones down the sideline. You get a little stutter go right here. You get on top. Now watch him adjust his body across to these guys. <laughs> this is what he watched in the offseason. Precision timing out route. They throw it at the He's going to try to hit Cam Sims here. He stretches. He does his job. But for Rhett, he's playing with vision and he's playing. He's got to put on the ball. It's going to be right up here. And you're going to see a deep out route. Watch Bosa get off the ball. And he is right there. And it's just not a finish. As beautiful as that out route was. You see, you see Brandon Ayuk at the top of your screen. He's just going to run a stop route. But Kendall Fuller, he doesn't get enough acceleration. Do everything from a quick standpoint. Watch, he gets straight on the vertical on that stem right there. Now breaks across the field. He's ahead of Janoris Jenkins. Marcus Williams. Flag incomplete. And when I say it'll have an effect on it, it's because you, you want to re you, you want to a little slow to get up. But we've seen Keenan Allen do the same. Just run that slant route. It's all on the release. You win on the release. And a big third and ten conversion. Result of the play, touchdown. Well, I tell you what, it, it's that underthrown long ball. This Washington football team is wanting to step up and make more plays like this. And he does a great job. Just reading the eyes. Follow the eyes. And you cannot hesitate. This is, you got to like this when you see... Mullins, Nick Mullins making throws like this and his receiver, Kendrick Bourne, as you see, go lay out for that great catch. Everything correct. Watch 22. He's going to backpedal. He breaks on the football, undercuts Greg Ward, has it right in his He's right underneath this thing. You're going to see just a little dig inside route here. And Wallace is very much in position. I love White negotiating in front of Roethlisberger. I'm telling you, it's good <laughs> to have smart guys out there on the field. You could see the little arm extension. There was nothing and then bounced off of the whole thing. It was Minka Fitzpatrick who's going to hit him and didn't wrap him up, and he's like, all right. And just yeah, your defense, like you said, Chris, has been the story all day. They apply pressure once again, sweat right there, right in the face. I imagine Johnson was mad over there on the sideline, working against one of the best in Tredavious White, and that is a beautiful move. Tight man-to-man -man coverage on fade routes. That's what Baltimore wants you to do. Marcus Peters, Marlon Humphrey, you're not going to run by it. Marcus Peters just backs off. You see Landry just in a catch and run. Well, Ford is stepping up big, but he gets beat right off the bat here. And he is flying, trying to catch up. Really nice job of turning back to the football. That's just a slight underthrow by Aaron Rodgers right there because he had Devontae Adams wide open. Many times we talked about on previous broadcasts, that's Olivia e. Vernon trying to get out there to cover a back. And when you have bunch formations like that, if you don't get on different levels...